fell off. I am just going to wait a few minutes. I had some technical difficulties logging on, so we're a few minutes late, but I still will wait for everybody to hop on. Hey, Sherry, I'm going to get started in a minute here. I just want to allow some time since my stuff didn't work. Hey, Natalie and Karen, how are you guys all doing? <clears throat> We will probably wait about a minute, get started. Hey, Amelia and Lakshmi, we have a, um, the internet connection in this Airbnb is not one of the best. And so I'm hoping that the message will be able to go out. I'm hoping that I'll be able to see your comments and interact with you all and everything work the way that it should. The message shouldn't take very long. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about what's going on right now. So you guys know that a few months ago, I really had it in my heart to manifest coming to California, Laguna Beach, Newport Beach area. I'm over it. So now I've moved more inland and we are um, trying that out for a little bit. But the internet connection is not as powerful as the last Airbnb that I stayed in. So we'll see how that goes. Um, how are you guys doing? How was your Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrated Thanksgiving? Ours was really low key. We were supposed to go eat with friends, but that got derailed a little bit. So we just had a nice relaxing holiday. Um, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get started with those of you who are here as people join. I'll catch them up. Hey, hey, Yvonne. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, I'll stop and pause and see what I could do to help you guys out. But I just want to go ahead and get started because I want to be respectful of your time. So today we're going to be talking about what we talked about a couple weeks ago. So since we had a holiday on Thursday last week, we missed Thursday. I'm going to give you a little bit of recap and then we will move forward with more of the lesson because I think it is a very important lesson that you guys need to understand. There are so many people that I interact with, that I run into, that I talk to, that thinks that I or any other successful person has this inherent motivation or this inherent thing that other people don't have and it's not true. And we started to talk on that or talk about that a little bit a few weeks ago when I wanted to tell you that motivation is a myth. There are those of you that are telling me, I don't feel motivated to do this, or I don't feel motivated to change, or I know I need to do this, this, or the other, but I'm not doing it because I don't feel motivated. And you're waiting for this false sense of motivation or what you perceive to be motivation before you actually start to act on your dream. And what you really should be thinking about, and this is what we talked about a couple weeks ago, is that you really are not lacking motivation. You really need to be looking at your discipline, your self-discipline. Because if you feel like you're lacking motivation, what you're really doing or what you're really saying is that you are lacking self-discipline. Motivation, as we talked about a couple weeks ago, usually follows action. Usually you feel motivated because you may have put your mind to something and you've started to take action on that thing and you may start to see the successes of that action that you have taken. That could be as simple as losing a pound or it could be just as simple as feeling better about yourself for actually doing something that you said that you were gonna do. But if you say that you are lacking motivation I'm going to push back on you and say, I want you to start to reframe that conversation with yourself because once you sit in self-awareness, once you really talk about the truth of what your situation is, it'll be much, much easier to change it. And you don't lack motivation. You lack self-discipline. If you want to feel more motivated the number one way that you can start to feel more motivated to take inspired action towards your hopes and your dreams is not to wait around for this infusion of energy to move you forward. It is to act. Once you act, you take something 
that is stagnant or something that is not moving or something that is in a state of inertia and you actually physically put energy behind it to actually have it go somewhere and by doing that you start to create or you start to build momentum which to me is motivation to continue to move forward so if you don't feel motivated it's probably because you lack self-discipline so for now on <laughs> for those of you that maybe need a little dose of tough love stop saying that you don't feel motivated to do something and start saying that you don't have the discipline to do stuff any questions about what we talked about two weeks ago before I put some more information on your plate to help you move through this space because then we're going to start to move into a space of well then how do we start to develop our sense of self-discipline how do we gain more self-discipline but again I want to unpack a little bit more of this because there's a spiritual element to this you know when you come to Yashika's intuition you're going to get an intellectual side of um, a topic but you'll also get the spiritual side of a topic because they're both very important um, okay let's see I don't see any questions hey Michelle so I'm gonna keep going so when you want to achieve something very different in your life I'm sure many of you have been through this in your life it is hard to make change it is hard especially if you want to make big powerful changes if you're tired of being who you are if you're tired of being stuck in a place where you're not achieving your hopes and your dreams or you know that there's something more to life than what you're doing right now and the way that you're living your life right now but to change and to do what it is that you feel called to do or inspired to do will take a lot of energy or is very very different than you have been in the past and so you often have to pivot or almost like reinvent yourself or almost drastically separate yourself from people or situations that bring you down all of those things are very hard things to do they're very challenging and when you are going through challenging times emotions situations and dealing with challenging people you are never going to feel this feeling of, of motivation well, I won't say never, but your initial feeling toward these challenges is not to be motivi motivated like, yay, I got to do all these hard things that I've never done before. And even though I know they're worth it, I'm just going to feel really good about doing it. That's not how life works at all. If you want to change your life and if you are going through challenges to change your life and friction and tension to change your life which is what big changes usually bring with them you're going to feel scared you're going to feel anxious you're going to feel tired you're going to feel tested you're going to feel doubtful self-doubt will creep in you will feel a lack of self-confidence you will feel all of those things and motivation is not going to come in and take away any of those things what is going to help you is to take motivation out of your vocabulary and focus on a person, being a person, becoming a person that is more self-disciplined because that is going to take you through your doubt, your scared feelings, all of the things and have you continue to move forward and push forward even when you don't feel like that's something that you want to do. You don't feel inspired. You don't feel passionate. Some of the things that you have to do to create big goals for yourself, to manifest big things for yourself are not things that you are going to be excited about, but these are things that are absolutely necessary. And so I want to kind of bring it back in because I want you to think about almost every successful person that you know and I want you to think about the fact that they all have morning routines most successful people have morning routines a lot of people will study successful people and what they do in their morning routines thinking that if they emulate those morning routines they will be injected with some sort of inspiration or motivation or power to be able to accomplish their goals and so I want you to really look at morning routines as this the reason why 
all most successful people have morning routines is because most successful people are self-disciplined when you start your day with a morning routine think about what you are doing for your day think about how you are setting yourself up for the day it's not the things that you do that are making you successful it's the mindset that you are creating by the fact that you get up and you do your morning routine day in day out even when you don't feel like it so they're not it's not so much what you do it's why you do it and just being committed to a practice and doing that practice consistently is part of what makes successful people successful so what i guess what i'm trying to get you to see is you can talk to any of them you can study any of them you can read books on any of them and they're going to tell you they don't always want to get up at four or go work out or meditate or do all of the things they don't have any special energy that you don't have what they have is a discipline and a drive to do the things that they don't want to do because they know who they want to become they know who they want to be and so having routines is just part of who they are and starting their day that way is not what makes them successful what makes them successful is that they start the day off in a mode of self-discipline honoring their self honoring their goals honoring their truths and that's what moves them forward so this is not a conversation about morning routines but i want you to think about it because i'm sure most of us have heard about morning routines and i just want you to understand where the power lies in in having a morning routine and if you can't even stick to something simple like getting up in the morning every morning or journaling for yourself or taking five minutes to say a prayer or doing gratitude or even if it's something simple like taking six minutes to drink a cup of coffee all by yourself think about how you're going to perform when you have those bigger goals and those bigger challenges that come up for you and the sooner that you can learn to commit especially to yourself in that morning and create discipline in that moment is the is how you inject the motivation into your life because remember what i said self-discipline comes first the motivation comes second if you have discipline you will act on your desires and but through that action motivation is bred and so your morning routine can be um something that inspires you to be more motivated but in and of itself you trying to do things and trying to wait and feel motivated not really going to happen and it's not really sustainable and it's not realistic especially when you're going through challenging times so if you wonder why you often maybe don't succeed at your goals you don't do the things that you say you're going to do or maybe you start off really really well but then you quickly fall off from the things that you said you were going to do it's not because you are lacking motivation it's more because you are lacking the self-discipline to see things through and so then the last thing that i want to talk about today before i just go into questions is the spiritual aspect of this i talk about this all the time a lot of times we often look at what's going on in our outer world as evidence of what is truly happening through our actions in the way that we approach life when that is not the case at all true change starts off on the inside first and it goes from the inside out so if you are starting off with motivation to try to accomplish any goal and you are looking at your outer world and you're getting frustrated because you are not actualizing the things that you're trying to create you are looking at the wrong thing and if you don't understand spiritually how manifestation works you will quickly find that your mo motivation is going to quickly um, die down when you're not getting the results or the return on what you think is an investment because you're looking at evidence from your outer world however if you understand from a spiritual aspect that the way things motivate or excuse me materialize or manifest is by 
starting from the inside and then going out, you're going to understand that there's so much that starts on a cellular level, on an atomic level, or inside of your body and your soul. All these things that have to happen before you can even start to manifest what you want. You know that even if you don't see things in your outer world, to keep going, to keep with it, to persevere, to be determined, to do all of the things that you need to continue to do to accomplish a goal because you know deep down inside of who you want to become, what you want to accomplish, where you want to be. And eventually you will see that in your outer world. But until you see that, what's going to drive your success is how disciplined you are about the things that you want, about the things that you um, say you want to experience, etc. So next week I will... Um, Oh, not next week. Next week, I want to talk to you guys about the full moon. And I want to do a tarot reading for you guys because I think we have some really powerful energies coming up. And we actually have a solar eclipse, a new moon solar eclipse around Christmas time coming up. So I want to bring some more astrology to you because I want you to start to pay attention to some very powerful energy that's coming up. But after that, I do want to come back and start to teach you how you can learn how to become more self-disciplined because if you really want to level up in your life and accomplish your goals and your dreams, then what you want to work on is becoming a person that is more self-disciplined and also becoming a person that has that embodies what they want in life. Whatever you want in life is not outside of you. You become it and then you create it. That's how manifestation works. And we'll talk more about it. So does anybody have any questions about anything we've talked about today? Again, this internet is super slow. So by the time I get your questions, it's going to be too late. I'll try to wait around. I'm going to keep going just to give you a closing message. Um, for those of you that feel like you are struggling with self-discipline or um, let's bring it back a little bit further. Remember what I said is a lot of people that are successful, myself included, we, ha we know who we are. We know who we, we wanna be. We know who we want to become. Not so much on a very detailed level, but just on a broad level, we have a vision about what our life should look like. And once you have a vision for that, you are very disciplined in that and who you are and who you want to be and who you want to become. And so you stick to that. And so if you find that you're having trouble with things like that and you want to be more focused on goals, maybe you need help honing in on what that is for you so that you can start to move forward and create a system that will help you develop more discipline for your goals. Do remember that I do have slots for one-on-one -on -one coaching. When I sign off, I will leave the link for you to apply for it. I'm starting to have people apply so that I can make sure that we're a good fit for each other because I don't have a lot of slots to open up to everybody. And so it's become a little bit more exclusive, but again, I am taking clients, so I will leave the link for you. And otherwise, I will be talking to you next week. Like I said, we'll be talking about some moon magic because there's some very powerful things coming up that I really want you guys to know about. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.